please welcome my friend, Lunell. <laughs> you, I just go, money, money, money. I want to say to you, happy belated birthday. Uh, yes. You celebrated your birthday a few Pisces weeks ago. Pisces Nation! <laughs> beow, beow, beow. <laughs> so did you have fun celebrating your birthday? Girl? I had a great time celebrating my birthday. First of all, it's just a blessing to be alive, amen? Oh my God. And yes. I was in Las Vegas and um, lots of friends came through. Eddie Griffin came through, and um, George Wallace came through, Mr. Las Vegas himself. Yes. And of course, my my boyfriend, my longtime man, I'll be sure. Came oh, I'll through. be sure be getting around. Look at this. Now you know, you know, Rolanda Watts. Hold on one second. Now you know, Rolanda Watts is in there, and in a long time ago, Lunell. Rolanda Watts and Al B. Shore. Mm -hmm. But now Al B. Shore is you and Al yes, B. Shore. Yes, that was then. This is now. Hey, girl. <laughs> You can see Rolanda and Lunell on the road now, no, y'all. <laughs> Lunell, you know, first of all, I just admire you so much because you are still one of the highest content creators on OnlyFans. Right? You got an OnlyFans account. <laughs> and we talked about that. We talked about it in private, and we talked about it on the show when you got your OnlyFans and how well it was doing, but <laughs> somebody leaked uh, your videos. What, what happened? You haven't made it till you've had a naked bathtub video leaked in Hollywood. You, know? you were in the bathtub, it was a naked bathtub video got leaked. Yes, and for $150, you can see a little clip. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I'm having a sale, actually. Oh, that's you having I'm a sale? I'm having an inter-springtime sale. <laughs> oh my gosh, you've always lived by the mantra Go the mantra, go big or go home. That's always been. Do you do you have you always believed that? Um, I think because I have been so influenced by Hollywood and the Rat Pack and stuff back in the days where glamour and glitz and stuff, and especially since I'm in Vegas, we'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> I, I just feel like People don't pay to come and see you in a t-shirt and jeans. That's they right. want to see glamour. That's what I want to see. So I try to give it to them. You do. And even can every time, even, can you show your nails, which I love? These right, right here. And it's just speaking, when you say glamour and glitz and the Rat Pack, you are having fun because as the only black woman with a residency in Vegas, <laughs> How's that been, girl? A, a comedy residency, a com specifically. I know my only fans, um, you know, people would love to see me do a burlesque show or something <laughs> like that. But yeah, um, I'm the only black woman doing a stand-up com comedy residency yes. in Las Vegas at the Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club. Yes. And um, it used to be every Sunday at 9.30, but black by popular demand. <laughs> I'm now there on Sundays and Mondays, so. That's fun. And it's funny because this is like now you're stationary Sunday and Mondays because I know I've seen you quite a few times you on, on, with Cat Williams mm -hmm. on his tour. Who? Cat Williams, our friend Cat Williams. <laughs> we love you, Cat Williams. She sure do. <laughs> we, all right, <laughs> <thanks>. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, let me we keep... Do. <laughs> we do. We do. And, you know, and, and, and looking at you on Cat's tour, <laughs> you guys have to leave and, and you, you, you perform, then you gotta go on the road, then you gotta go on the road the next day. You're always... Do you like being in Vegas and just being stationary? Well, I do love being in Las Vegas, but I'm not stationary at all. 
because I'm still on the road and I'm doing Las Vegas. We just left Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, I didn't even get in the bed after the last show because my shows were sold out before I got there, so they had to add one. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, and by the way, I do sell out almost oh. everywhere I go, so if you think that you're just gonna walk up and grab a Lunel ticket, <laughs> think again. <laughs> so let me tell you something. Let me tell you, this is this is a level that you can't go and just buy a Lunel ticket, but you can with Sherry Shepard. <laughs> you go get you a ticket. The night is stuck. <laughs> That's and lying. the city watering. <laughs> and city watering. City watering. Look, I was on the phone with Linnell go, girl, I got to sell these damn tickets. <laughs> uh, get, your, was... get your OnlyFans, don't sell like hotcakes. <laughs> this girl gonna tell me the other day after my, after my video got leaked, she gonna say, your breasts look like flapjacks. I said, girl, men love flapjacks. <laughs> Put some syrup on these babies and let's go to work. <laughs> You sure did. You said put some syrup put on them. Put some syrup on them. Let's go. <laughs> but um, uh, it's very I difficult guess. because, like, I'm on the road now for a two-week stretch. Yeah. When I leave here, I go straight to Arlington Improv. I do five shows there. Then I go back to Vegas and do two. And then I get to go home. I haven't been home for two weeks. I haven't seen my daughter, you know, and uh, I have know, missed but... the dog and all that. But it's, it's good to have a... Home. It's good to be able to come back to Vegas. Vegas every week. And you don't have to beg people to come to Vegas. You, you know, don't. they're like, you in Vegas? We coming. I love it because John and I came to see you in- Hi, in John. John Murray. We came to see you in Raleigh Durham, I think. <laughs> when I tell you, Lunell was on the stage and somebody passed out. They were laughing so hard. They passed out. You be killing people. <laughs> That's why they... That's why they call me El Murder, baby. <laughs> it's on my leg. But um, also, I've had women's water break. Uh, I've had people have babies and brought the baby back a year later and showed me all kinds of things. All kinds of fun and exciting things can happen when you come to a Lunell show. You sure can. <laughs> now, and this is what's so fun and exciting, and I'm so excited for you because you are filming a Netflix special, which is executive produced by Dave Chappelle. Yes. yes. So in this one... But, 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 yes. Hi, Dave. But the breaking news is I can now say that the, my first Netflix special produced by Dave Chappelle will be filmed in the town where, where it all started for me, in Oakland, California, <laughs> town beers. And it'll probably be at this, uh, uh, I think it's gonna be at Yoshi's. Uh -huh. And everybody out there knows it. May not be a big deal to you. It's a big deal to us from Oakland. That's it. Big deal. From Oakland, California. Now, what can we expect? What can we expect on this uh, Netflix special? Well, I am going around, like, you know, practicing now, just like Chris Rock and everybody does before they get ready for a big thing. Um, and I just, I, it, I don't like uh, mediocre laughs. That's I right. don't like chuckles. I like you to spit your drink out. Yeah. I like you to chuckle. <laughs> You know, I, I, I want to have you pass out, you know? <laughs> have a baby. <laughs> so I'm going for the big, big laughs, and um, uh, it's just going to make me proud, my friends proud that have seen me struggle for so long and have helped me. You know, there'll be people there whose couches I've slept on. There'll be people there who've watched my baby and yes. then see this all to come to fruition after everybody's been pulling for me for so long and know everything I've been through. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You know, Linnell, it's so... To see you... Uh, and by the way, you were amazing in Dolomite with Eddie Murphy. I just want to tell you that. Uh, but all of these things are happening for you. You are, uh, you are recurring. That's a good bra you got on, Cher. <laughs> <laughs> in there. So tight. They ain't going nowhere. <laughs> in there, you can swim underwater with those. <laughs> Let me give you your flowers. Okay. Let me give you your I flowers. want that bra is what I really want. <laughs> I'm a, you don't know how many times we FaceTime. We, both of us are butt naked we are, talking to each other on the FaceTime. One. She, she always talk about Nisi and Kim. She calls me <laughs> at like four in the morning. Hey, girl. I'm like, what? Who's this? <laughs> what do you want, Sherry? Oh, uh, blah, 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 and we discuss things. So that's what friends are for. That's right. And that's, that's why you're going to give me flowers. Let don't me tell, get, no, don't, let oh. me just say, Sherry, I know the story, right? Yes. And I know how... A manifestation can happen. And you've always wanted this show. 
And I'm so glad that you worked and got a good thing can happen to good people, you know? Thank you, Lily. Thank you. And, for real. Thank you, Lily. I'm sitting on your couch. But, and, and you can have this daytime genre. This is cute. But, um... <laughs> This, you know, okay. you gonna have you want a late night I want to be late the next night. black woman in late night television. I can't handle late night. I'm a daytime girl, but I'm you... not. I'm a vampire. I don't want to make it a racial thing, but it's white man after white man after white man after white man after white man. In late night, I'm having a white man nightmare. It's time for me. <laughs> it's time for me to come through with a little flavor, a little female energy. I think in late night. There we go. There we, who wants to see Lunell on Late Night? Late Night with Lunell, bill, bill, bill! Lunell, I just want to say, you know how much I love you, and I... Uh-uh, I just... is this in our segment? Yeah, yeah well... No, no. Uh, no, you told me that we was going to do two segments and play a game. Well, I didn't... Well, what well, happened? I, I... Mary, uh-uh, <laughs> no. Mary J. Blige got two segments. <laughs> Before I say thanks for being here, how about if you come back? Like, um, I got picked up for two seasons. So oh my God. how about if you come back? If I didn't know that I was coming back, I'd have brought another little change of wardrobe, but <laughs> I guess I can wear this old thing back out again. <laughs> I'd love to. Thank you. Lunell, I love you so much. I want to say thank you for being here. For info on how to see Lunell in Vegas and on tour, go to SherryShowTV.com.